Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to make maxaloons. Maxaloons are pans that are specially made in order to accommodate the bulk of a cloth diapered bum. It is also a type of grow with me pants because the belly band and leg bands are adjusted to fit your growing baby. I vlogged about the first pair I made a couple of weeks ago and a lot of you have been very curious about it and requested a tutorial. So I contacted Jamie from Max and Mina, the maker of the pattern, and asked permission to film a tutorial. Not only did she give me permission to film a tutorial, but she also generously offered a 20% off coupon code for all of you strangelings when you purchase the pattern on her Etsy shop. Just type WATS20 upon checkout and you will get 20% off. The pattern comes with four different sizes of pants that ranges from newborn to 5T. When you print out the pattern, you will get a very informational page that contains the sizing, suggested fabrics, supplies needed, and tips before getting started. You will also get a step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, which is a good thing to have to look through in case you don't have access to my video. And of course, there are the pattern themselves. Each one has a one inch test square. The pattern is also labeled with each sections and the size, along with the direction of the fabric and instructions on how to assemble them. Once you have decided what size you want to make and have cut out and assembled all the pattern pieces, you should have one front, one back, one bum piece, a leg band, and a belly band. For this project, I will be using a cotton knit fabric with contrasting colors. Fold the fabric so that the stretch goes across the fabric. Also, make sure that the front of the pattern fits on the folded edge as marked on the pattern piece. Next, you can trace around the pattern with chalk or just put weights on the pattern and cut with a rotary cutter. When you are using a directional print for the bum piece, it's always a good idea to make sure that the print is facing right side up. And also if you have separate pieces like I do for the cross, make sure that that is on the center of the bum piece. That way when you sew it down, the design will be on the center. Cut out the belly band and the leg bands in contrast to the bum as specified to the pattern pieces. Next, we're gonna pin the bum piece onto the back piece of the pants. Some people may have trouble with this because they feel like the bum piece is too big for the whole of the back piece of the pants, but it just requires a little bit of patience and a couple of pins to make sure that it stays in place. The first thing you're gonna do is take your back piece and fold it in half, then find the center point of that top circle and put a pin in place to mark the spot. Next, you're gonna take your bum piece and do the same thing, just fold it in half and put a pin on the top center to mark the spot. With the right sides together, match the center of each piece and pin together. Now you're gonna take one corner of the bum piece and one corner of the back piece and pin them right sides together. And you'll do the same for the other side.
Now you have three pins marking the center and the bottom sides. Next, you're gonna find the center in between each pin. To do this, I like to pull them apart. That way the pins match in the center and then I put the centers back together and pin it in place. I just repeat this step a couple of times until I know that the bump piece is secured evenly all over the back. All right, let's get to sewing. For this project, I will be using both a serger and a sewing machine, but if you don't have a serger, you can use just your regular sewing machine. Just use a straight stitch and then reinforce with a zigzag stitch afterwards. A lot of people are very intimidated to use a serger to sew the bum piece together, but please don't be afraid. It's actually a lot easier than you think it would be, and it is definitely a lot less intimidating once you get started. I used a serger with the first pair of maxillons that I've ever made and I only got a serger in January. I'm pretty new to serging and if I can do this then so can you. Next, sew a top stitch around the bum area. This will give you a cleaner finish and make sure that the seams are sewn in place. Next, Place the front and back pants right sides together and sew the outside leg seams together. If you need to, you can definitely use pins to help hold everything in place. The knit fabric tends to move around a lot while you're sewing, so it's also very important to take your time. Next, you are going to sew together the inside leg seams and the crotch area, making sure to match the front crotch area to the back bum piece. Next, you are going to take your leg bands, fold them right sides together, lengthwise, and sew the long sides down together, leaving the short ends open. Fold the belly band in half with wise, right sides together, and sew down. Next, you are going to fold down the belly band inwards so that the wrong sides are touching each other and you will repeat the same process for the leg bands. Leave the pants inside out with the seam showing and then slide the leg cuffs into the pant legs. The band seam should be matched with the inside seam of the leg.
Match the raw edge of the band with the raw edge of the pant legs. Pin in place if needed and then sew around the cuff. And then repeat for the next leg. This is how it should look like when you're done. Next, you are going to repeat the same process with the belly band. Align the center back seam of the belly band with the center back of the pants. Align the raw edges of the band and pin in place. After that, sew all the way around to make sure everything is secured in place. The last step is to just turn your pants right side out and you are finished! And that is it! You now have super awesome max loons. There are some other variations to this pattern as well. If you would like to not have the bum piece, you can cut out two front pieces instead and have regular looking pants. Also, one of the really good benefits of this pants, aside from it growing with your child, is that the belly band and the leg bands don't shift out of place. They stay there, so it's perfect when you are wearing your baby, the pants won't ride up. Also, the band won't slide down and have the peekaboo problem, as I like to call it, with the cloth diapers. Although these pants were specifically designed to accommodate cloth diaper bums, it could also most definitely be used with babies who use disposable diapers. Alright, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will be happy to help with the best of my knowledge. Also, I will be including the links to the pattern on the description box along with a link to the Max and Mina group. There are lots of awesome mamas there who make Max saloons and they can help you out with questions where you can be inspired to make many more awesome pants and Max saloon related items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it helps us a lot. And if you want to, please subscribe for more videos. I will see you all on the next video. Bye guys!